All right, I'm gonna show you real quick, real basic introduction to DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna launch the program. I'll show you a little bit about the layout, some importing files, a few basic cuts and edits, and then exporting. So that's really all there is to it. So this is for the person who, let's say maybe uh, you've got a couple videos that you've uh, taken with your phone. You wanna put those together into a nice little thing to upload on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, and that's pretty much for you. If you've done all of that at some point in time and you're looking for more advanced stuff, this is probably not the one for you. So I'm gonna launch it real quick. So I'm just gonna to jump to my desktop and I'm gonna double click on it. Just to let you know, it could be a bit slow to launch depending on your machine. Okay, the first thing you're gonna see is this. This is why I wanted to show you launching. And I've got a few projects in here already. Yours will be blank. Don't worry about any of this database stuff. Just leave that where it is. We want to create a new project. You can do that either by going new project or untitled project and double clicking on it. So the default here is it's going to take you to the uh, DaVinci calls these pages. You can call them panels. You can call them screens, whatever you want. So by default, it takes you to this cut one and there's two options here. There's cut and there's edit. And these two really do the same thing. It's just a little bit different in how it does it, and I'm gonna show you the edit one. So I'm just gonna click on that, and this is gonna be how we're gonna edit. And the reason being is um, I'll probably do a video at a later date on the cut screen, but today we're gonna to look at edit. Now I need to get my files in here. So I can go to File, Import File, Import Media, and that's going to give you the option of going to the folder wherever you have those videos saved and grabbing them and importing them or if you've just want to grab them off of wherever the folder is I'm gonna use these few as a sample let's go with these ones here so I'm just gonna grab a few and drag and drop them now what it did here is it's giving me a different frame rate and the reason being is when you create the project it gives you an option of basically saying like, hey, what's the frame it? What's the format for this video? I didn't show you how to do that. And the reason being is because it doesn't really matter too much because you have this option here, which says change. So just like I said, leave it at the default like I did and just hit change and it's gonna automatically redo it to match the frame rate and format of the files that I imported. So there's all my video files and We'll get into the rest of the stuff here in a little bit. Now let's say I want to put these onto my timeline. You can just grab whichever one you want, drag and drop it down here, let go, and now that is on my timeline. So you can see uh, we've got my actor here on the screen walking around. I'm going to hit this little button here, which is going to mute it. And so that's as I um, slide my playhead before, you're not gonna have to listen to that noise in the background, but just hit that if you wanna mute it or unmute it. DaVinci's real nice. I think it's real user-friendly for a lot of this basic stuff. So first things first. So notice what I did is I dragged it in here and now we've got this blank space here before the video starts. If I exported it, it would have that blank space play before it actually started. So you can just click on it and move it or what you can do is click with your mouse in the space in front of that and notice it kind of got a light gray. I can then right click and go ripple delete and that's automatically gonna move it as well. Okay, now I wanna cut this video a little bit. So I don't want this bit of him just kinda sitting there. Actually what I want is the end bit of him walking. So I'm gonna move it to right about there in order to cut it, you wanna use a blade tool. So you can select on this, and notice when I go down now, it looks like a little razor blade, so very descriptive. If you want on your keyboard, you can hit the B button on your keyboard to bring that up as well. Click where you want that cut to happen, and notice now what we've got here, let's move this out of the way, we've got two sides of the video. So I'm going to switch back to my pointer tool and now I'm going to delete that first bit. So uh, what will happen here is I'll click on it and I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard and notice what DaVinci does is it automatically moves that right ahead to the beginning there. So that's a nice thing about DaVinci is that it does that. 
Now let's say I don't want that to happen. When you click on it, if you hit Control X, it will delete it without that, so you have all the blank space. Um, or you can click on it, right click, and get those options as well. So you can do that ripple cut, cut, and delete. So I'm not gonna worry about any of this. I'm just gonna delete it, get that clip where I want it to be. And now let's say I want another portion of the video. So let's go to this last one here. And so I'm gonna double click on it for a second. And notice what it did here is it pulled the one I double clicked up on here in the left versus the one that I'm editing here on the right. So I can actually kind of look at it and decide, yeah, that's it, that's the one I want. And I want it to like right where the guy walks up and I'm gonna hit the eye on my keyboard. So that's gonna tell it to start there. And I'm gonna drag and drop that down and put that in. So it goes from there to there. Nifty stuff. Okay, a couple things that you can do here. So if I click on that, and now I know I'm editing this one here on the right, click this little option up here called Inspector, and this is gonna give you some editing options. So pretty basic stuff. If I want to, for some reason, zoom in, you can just mouse over and click, and then move your mouse to the left and right to zoom in and zoom out. Same thing with the position, left, right. And the other one I want to show you here is going to be audio. So click on the audio, and let's say hypothetically it's too loud or too quiet. So this is actually fine, but let's say hypothetically it wasn't. I can click on my clip volume and adjust that as well. And you can do all these adjustments down here as well. But like I said, this is the basic intro 101 version of this. So that's... Um, just leave it at that. You can play with these as well. But videos where you're going to make changes to the adjustments to the video, the position, um, that kind of stuff, and audio if you want to increase or decrease the volume. Last thing I want to show you here is going to be some of these ones, which are going to be your effects. So let's say I want to do a video transition. So I'm going to click on video transition, and I want to do a cross dissolve. So it crosses from the first bit to the bit next. Just click on it, drag and drop it. And when we play it, notice we get a little bit of a cross dissolve there and that's pretty much it that's very basic last thing I'm going to show you is you can rename it if you want double click on it and it's going to highlight it and I'm going to go demo demo with that I'm not going to get into anything else in here now let's say we've got our basic video the way we want it I can see it's going to be about nice and short here 21 seconds long click on down here to the right deliver so that's basically telling it okay now i'm ready to deliver or export this video what's nice about davinci is it gives you a lot of nice default options so if i'm going to youtube click on youtube then if i'm going to vimeo click on vimeo which is basically going to be the same h264 is kind of an industry standard for video formats um, i do want to give you a heads up if you are going to be putting this on Instagram, whether it be the Square Instagram, 60 second one, or an Instagram story, look up a quick video on that. I haven't done one. I don't think I've done one. I have, No, I'm pretty sure I haven't done one on that. And it, you'll know what you need to change these advanced settings to in order to get it onto Instagram. Um, it's kind of particular about stuff, but we don't care. Let's say we're going to YouTube or Facebook. I'm going to change my file name. I'm going to click on browse and I want to send this to my desktop. Hit save. So now it's saying okay I'm going to save my demo video to my desktop. Don't mess with any of the rest of these. Just leave it at the defaults. Hit this little option here that says add to render queue. You'll see it pop up on the right here. I've got a whole video on rendering videos, so um, you can watch that if you want. When it pops up to the right, hit Start Render, and it's going to export that video so that you can watch it. It shouldn't take too long because this is real short. If your video is much, much longer, it will take longer. Okay, it's completed. Go to my desktop, and we've got my demo. And that's really all there is to it. So it's 
uh, like I said, it's a pretty basic intro. If you're looking for more advanced videos, I've got quite a few on this channel, so take a look, see if that solves your problem, or if not, subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly churning out new videos each week in regards to video editing and photo editing, so I might get to the one that you need at some point in time. Thanks.